Hi there, once again, welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed. What makes a skater great? Patrick Rose, the great Dutch distance champion and all-arounder. Yesterday in the 5,000, skated the best he had all season. Great to see the Dutch improving through the season. And this skater improved some timing uh, issues that uh, were plaguing him a little bit earlier in the season. And it seems as if he's cleared some of that up. He's got better timing over here than he does here and better release and better rest and better power. All those things go together as we've discussed. It all is one, you're one unit out there. Everything moves as a unit, as a single entity. And when you do that, things clear up. So what I wanted to show you was, this is um, Patrick earlier in the season. This is a uh, Romancia from Russia skating and, and with Patrick. But let's pick it up right here from moving from the left to the right. And let's notice a couple things. First, you see a lot of movement with this lead skate, so that's good. More broken line here than you'd want, but that's Patrick's style, and he gets away with it. But there's a lot of power on the skate, but notice the blade angle. It's collapsed. Because of this knee, his angle is collapsed into the ice, so he loses a lot of power, and this skate is going to be on the ice pretty early. So there's a lot of time there where he's not getting a lot of power out of here because it's just a little bit late in his emphasis. So timing here, a little late. Now let's look at this side, coming to the same push. And you'll notice that this skate, his right skate, left skate comes down a little later and he's cleaner off that power. So watch, it's more of one thing. You can see it, it's one, set up, drop in, done. This is more like two. He sets up, drops in, but then he puts the skate down and then has a release. So it's more of a biphasic movement than this. There are two phases on this side more like one on this side and it's a very important subtle difference for a distance skater because you get a lot of clearance and a lot of less friction and notice how he's very severe out here almost like you're at Bergsma moving out over that skate very severe with this line and that's an excellent line right there versus here it's an excellent line too but notice where he is in his push cycle he isn't even done yet here he's done so earlier is good. He's much earlier on this side so it's really an important difference that uh, that we can see in Patrick Rose skating and again it's because setting this skate down a little later moving earlier with the lead skate and really severely just getting out over it and getting a really powerful release you can just see how his recovery as well comes right into that push very quickly and look at that angle going this way just outstanding and there's so much power on it you can just see it really good sitting position and great form so just you know timing is a subtle thing and you nail it you can do you can your body can be in the same place but if it's not in the same place at the right time it doesn't do you any good so here Patrick was having a little timing issues and here he's cleaned them up so it's a really, really great thing to see. Just so much power into the ice. So fun to watch that. So just a comparison um, from earlier in the season until now. And again, you can see it right here, late. Late and straddled. There's a straddle here. There is no such straddle here. He is moving with that lead and he's done. So just a quick update on Patrick Rose skating, and it looks great. So I will talk to you next time on Speed Skating Deconstructed. What makes a skater great?